Um, so yeah, guys, we're back. Um, we, we, one more thing here I forgot to put in the chat window. All right. Um, so let's get to continue, guys. We should be on our way back. Uh huh. Uh huh. All right. We're on our way back. Let's get going. Let's plan our next move. Oh wait, no, we can't go there that way. We'll have to go. All right, we're gonna go back to the um water. Where to next? And do it that way. Try out the fairy flute. You should be able to hear it. Yes, he should. So, got that now, guys. We've got the fairy flute. Um, you gotta be careful. Just make sure you save every time you do this, because the game's got a tendency to crash every so often. Not a big chance, but it's enough to cause problems. Oh yeah, that feels better. Alright, let's go this way. The back over here, guys. That's where we're gonna go, guys. And the manager is just over that direction. Let's to the manager. Let's get this out of the way. Um, we should be able to get our next member. Hello, is this? Okay, just checking my voice. It seems to be a bit loud. Either way, um, let's go. We made it safe and sound. Might I suggest we meet with Molabay at the garrison as soon as possible? I mean, that's obvious. Got some syrup. That's where we're going right now, guys. We want to get up the cliffs. It feels like we were gone for ages. This time, we'll make it to the top of the cliffs for sure. We better. I didn't spend all that time over in Guju for nothing, you know. Oh, uh, no offense. I don't feel any power from the Earth Spirits, yet. When the ceremony commences, we shall see a difference, I am sure. You have a point. You might as well wait for the ritual. Alright, let's get over there and get that sorted out. Um, looks like the stuff here I missed, as usual. There's always stuff in here. Do you think it'll go any better with the seed this time? With Gnome's blessing, I think the soil will have enough power. It'll work, now that we have him on our side. I am prepared to climb if this fails. You do reap what you sow, as they say. You heard the Queen. Be prepared for any outcome. Please work. All right. You're back. I can feel a change in the energy of the soil. We should attempt the watering ceremony one more time. Good. All right. Spirits of Earth, we beseech you, bring life forth from this barren soil. Guide the alms over the cliffs and to Elusia beyond. Now. Yeah, Brian's getting a bit excited. Ah, little seed dudes. I don't know where you can scan off, they're just flowers and grass. Here we go. Would have been nice to get this far in the um, video yesterday, guys, but that one of those days when I didn't feel the greater, so. Can I? I'm a bit less motivated. Uh, not that. Feeling bad. Brian's gotta stop getting so excited. But now we can go up there, but I don't want to go up there yet. There's a few things we've got to collect in this area. Also, side questing we'll be doing a lot later, guys. I'll be doing that all on stream. I won't be doing that recording. I swear. Um, I'm going to be changing how I do my edits because I want to make sure I do edits, but I don't want to do it a hundred percent on them because I don't want to waste too much time on them. There may not be many methods of restocking our packs. So anything that's part of the main game will be recorded. Anything that's not part of the main game will not be recorded. Only for the streams. Right. 
Let's check our provisions first. I mean, that makes sense, doesn't it? Yeah, I think that's how I'm gonna do it. I won't start until the next video, though. I'll just stay like that, be consistent on our uploads and shit like that. Which means I won't be. Hopefully, won't get too far ahead with the upload stuff. Uh, I think I've already done this one. I want to thing. There should be a chest here somewhere. But where? Hard to always find a chest because it doesn't tell you where all the chests are. For example, there's a chest here, but where is it? Never mind, I think I know it's it. up there. Yep, there it is. This is kind of Alright, I'll go over there. I think there's one more? One more to go. That makes it a little bit easier. Oh, there it is, the whole time, it was just sitting there. Let me see. Nice. Alright, it's all of them. Yep, that's everything. Okay, great, let's go. Let's go. Alms, Soul Guard. Milos Woods lies just beyond the cliffs. It is a vast and treacherous jungle. Yes, we are aware. Within the forest, you will find Verdius Burrow. Hidden home of the Sproutlings. It is one of them who will become the Alm of Wood. Yes, that's true. If he joins your party, you will be that much closer to the Mana Tree. You are well on your way to ensuring the survival of our world. Good. Safe travels on the road to Elusia. All right, let's go. Guys, looks like this one's going to be with the beginning when the monsters are going to start attacking. So this will be about halfway, I believe. Should be wonderful. Trek it has been, but we have come far. It's all thanks to the spirits. Ever since Guju, I've been thinking about how we take their powers for granted in our everyday lives. True, but with the Alm's sacrifice, we can ensure that mana flows to the spirits of earth, fire, wind, water, the moon, and all the rest. Wow! Get a look at those trees! Verdius should be in view once we reach beyond this road. The Alm may have already been appointed. We'll have to see if we come across Orin or the Alm of Wood first, I suppose. Brace yourselves, everybody. We're getting closer to the end of this area. Now, since this is my game, new game plus, we already know the general rule of the game. Look at these big flowers. The plant life on top of the cliffs doesn't seem to suffer from the same issues as the ones below. I suppose all of Elusia Isle is isolated from the lands we know. In fact, I wonder how the mana tree first came to flourish here. We're hot on Orin's trail now. Leave it to us. We won't let Orin keep Hina's core stone. Now yeah, we're gonna find him and beat the crap out of him. Uh -huh. Are the plants this weird because we're near the That, or it's because there aren't any people to keep the woods in check. Don't get lost, okay? I don't know if I'd be able to find anyone in here. Okay, guys, we're severely overpowered here, so we should be okay. Here, like I said, we're level 90. We should be getting close to the next level. Alright, so you got to beat these guys up to continue it. Might it feed on the mana power of monsters, perhaps? A balanced ecosystem between monster and plant. These woods are very interesting. Alright. Let's go this way first. Anything here we need to do? Nope, let's move past it. Listen guys, I'm not going to be fighting enemy... Uh oh, uh oh, I fell down. I didn't work out the way I want it. All right, this one's the next one, guys. Let's beat him up. That's another one down out the way. 
Acts like easier when you're right, really overpowered. Man, I wish I was... The flower's gone. Hmm. I suppose it really was feeding off the nearby monsters. There might be more. Let's look around. Get this thing. Move on downwards, guys. Um, is there anything else that can keep going that way? Thanks for the pick me up. Let's get going. Yes. There's a chest over there. Come on to the map. It just kept growing and growing. Did you really need to jump on my back, though? Touchy. I wanted a better view, and you happened to be next to me, so. I've been demoted to platform. Pretty much. All oh, right, there we go. The enemies and their corresponding flora have been good. We can go over there, guys. Get what we want. Get out. Already make it this far. It's weird that we haven't passed each other. Okay. Oh, well, it's pointless. Okay, fair enough. Taking this. Go this way, guys. Are we nearly there? Yep, we are. At first, let's get this chest. I think we're supposed to fight these guys. Yeah, this one. I mean, this makes it so much easier to do. You can focus mostly on the story quite easily. There we go. And there it is. That's what I was looking for. Alright, let's go. The large flowers along our way are all gone, it seems. That means we can keep moving forward. Let's get going. Yep, yeah, alright, let's go back to that big flower area. It's going good. Alright, I don't think there's anything else here to collect. Is there? No, there is a treasure chest. There's a treasure chest somewhere. Where is it? And there it is. All right, let's go. All right, so now we're in the um. Is this a settlement of some kind? Yep, the spatlings live. There don't appear to be any settlers. Well, we we'll expect. Excuse me, is anyone here? Very direct way of um introducing yourself. Nope, nothing. It doesn't look as bad off as Guju. We would know if disaster had struck another town. Huh? Did you hear that? Yeah, it's a musical note. Music. Does Orin play the guitar? Calm down. It's probably just one of the citizens of Verdius. I believe that riveting refrain is coming from over there. Shall we investigate? Yeah, guys, we've got a boss battle coming up any minute in a few minutes. But this one's basically just listening to it, going, then going to another area, listening to them continue, and that kind of stuff. Someone around playing that song, right? Yeah, but first, we're collecting. We've got a, we're a collector. I like to get things out of the way. These areas are pretty easy. And the good thing, guys, we've done the majority of the areas, so we don't need to explore too much these eight now. So let's just collect as we go. Now, if you guys are watching, I hope you guys are enjoying. So, yeah, I know I've been playing this for a while. Well, I just how I do Let's Plays. Now, I've worked out how I'm going to do them. Um, hopefully, there won't be too much of a problem. I'll go that way. Get a chest in here. Alright, let's keep listening to the game. Ah, uh, this guy's a, a bit of a sassy dude. Hmm. Of 
I think I have a unique personality. Looks like jam number 1460 is another keeper. Not bad, not bad. Gosh, the fairy is taking her sweet time this year. Or maybe there's something else going on. Some weird lyrics. Well, I didn't really ask for your input. <gasps> Get out of town. You wouldn't happen to be the convoy of arms now, would you? Yes, we are. We are the arms. I'm Julie, custodian of the borough. A sproutling, obviously. Oh, you came all this way, but I'm sorry to say there's no alm of wood just yet. That we can see. I guess that means we're stuck here for now. Uh, this is becoming a bit of a pattern, isn't it? One, two, three. Is it just me, or are we missing people? Due to some complications on our journey, the Alms of Light and Darkness will join us later. I am Palomina, Alm of Water. Oh, uh, I'm the Soul Guard, Val. Morley, Alm of the Moon. They call me Karina, Alm of Wind, and this pretty lady is Rainco. A sacred beast. Golly, a sacred beast cub. Still growing, I see. Were you raised outside of the Lucia? Hang on. Do you know Ramco? Nope. We only just got acquainted, but I know plenty about these sacred beasts. That's everyone. Oh, what about the Alm of Fire? Did something happen to the Alm from Tianya? She, uh, Hina. She lost her core stone. We're looking for the person who stole it from us, and we're actually in a hurry. Mm, not sure what you mean by core stone. But losing things is never fun. Sounds like most people haven't heard of core stones. The only news I can give you is no news. Sorry. There's nobody here but us Sproutlings. And I haven't seen any thieves come through the borough in, well, ever probably. Plus, there's nothing beyond Verdius but the mana tree, so... Oh, yeah. And that boulder at the entrance with the legendary sword stuck in it. But that's it, huh? huh? Legendary sword? Oops, uh, look at the time. I have to go water my friends. Bye. Yeah, since he matched, now he's running. I don't know why he does that. What sword was he talking about? Am I the only one in the dark? The mana sword. The goddess of mana was said to have given a legendary sword to her hero champion. But I could have never fathomed that the fairy tale was fact. Orin and Hina talked about it once. I didn't think it was real either. Perhaps the kernel of truth behind the myth originated here in Elusia. It is the home of the mana tree. Our search for Orin might be a bus, but we still need an alm of wood. You should ask that kid from earlier what's up. True. Let's find him. Yeah, so I'm just going to be doing a lot of talking, guys. It's not going to be very exciting. I can um do a few things. What? Better look for him, I guess. Been here somewhere. It is hiding there. Nice. All right, let's go this way. I think. Let's plan our next move. All right, let's go this way, and then we can t do this thing. Oh, there it is. Let me see. Nice. Grizzly. Taking this. All right. Let's right, follow the kid. Custodians water the plants here? <laughs> of course. Who else? I have to take care of my friends. Friends? Sure. This tree here is a good friend of mine. Wait, what? This tree is a sproutling? Oh, I guess you wouldn't know. When a sproutling goes to sleep for a long time, we tend to turn into trees. Every four years, just in time for the pilgrimage, 
One of my hibernating friends grows the most beautiful flowers. The alluring fragrance beckons the fairy to the girl, and that lucky sproutling gets to be the alm. Only the most vibrant of sproutlings can blossom, making them the perfect candidates for the alm of wood. Our patron elemental wants lush foliage on all of Arani. But when are the buds meant to bloom? Usually the trees are already in bloom by the time the convoy of alms arrives. But not this year. There's probably no hope for the burl after all. I suppose we all gotta go sometime. What? Oh, oh, the face oh, attitude? We need to jump straight to utter destruction. Nope. I think this is it for us. No flowers, no fairy, no future. Anyway, I'm sure you've all got stuff to do. Some bandit you're tailing or whatever. What if? Oh, I guess that's um kind of the day, isn't he? Really gonna give up on his homeland? Just like that? Mm -hmm. Marina's kind of yelling. He really likes yelling at people. I think it's a specialty. He's really knowledgeable about the pilgrimage. There's a lot more I want to ask him. Uh, over there. Just gonna keep talking to him, guys. about my work there's a lot we don't know about all this i was hoping for answers a chat would kill time better than my usual rounds as you wish oh thank you dude remain dormant for long periods with one exception we alternate who looks after the rest of us while we sleep as the custodian i water my sleeping friends each and every day i woke up four years ago just as the last pilgrimage was coming through the burrow oh. for four years you've been watering these guys waiting for them to bloom all by yourself of course though i guess it's not gonna matter much anymore if there's no alm might as well hang up my watering can i swear to god i want to punch him options already have you talked with your patron elemental maybe she can help <laughs> What a silly thing to say. Alms are appointed, not requested. There's nothing I can do about Actually, that. Actually, there is a lot you can do about it. How do you know if you don't try? I went directly to Sylphid and asked to be made the alm. You don't want this place to be destroyed, right? Then do something. Anything. Go ask the elemental of wood to hurry up. It's confused. It's like a cat. You've got to be joking. She's joking, right? Karina's telling the truth. She went out and found the Elemental of Wind in order to request her position as the Alm. But, but that's going against the hand of fate. Perhaps mortals. I mean, I think fate has a big part to play, but it's not the only thing. How we do things up here, Sproutlings take what life gives us, and we're grateful for them. I don't like that idea. I think you can, the best thing for life is to try to do it yourself. All relying on the fate. I mean, fate has a part of it, but it's not the whole thing. to assume you know better than the goddess herself not what she said and it wasn't you know more than the goddess it's just egotistical that's rich coming from a stubborn weed like him no choice He's not wrong to stick to his principles he just needs some perspective <sighs> is following the will of the world really worth accepting the destruction of all you hold dear no i don't think so hmm not that the workings of the hand of fate aren't important, but Karina's got a good point too. I don't want Jule to give up hope. Well, let's go this way. All right, I think this is the last area. That's just a lot of little things. You're a pushy bunch, you know that. <laughs> what is it this time? You're the one who ran off. We were done with our conversation. Actually, I didn't have anything else to say to you folks. I've said my piece. No need to get worked up about it. I'll tell you what. If an alm of wood is chosen, you'll be the first to know. So go ahead and look around for that cork stone or, or what have you. It's core stone, not cork stone. And that's our friend soul you're talking about, bub. Hina, the alm of fire, had her core stone stolen by Orin. If we don't get that piece of her back, then Tiania is in danger. Perdia still has a chance. So use it! 
How can you stand around and throw your hands up like none of this is in your control? Don't you care what happens to the burrow? I think it does. Of your dormant friends. Don't you want to save them? Isn't that worth asking to become the alma wood yourself? Look, pal, I'm not going to take much more of your sass. You think I'm not worried about the fate of my home? There should be blooms by now. It's not supposed to be like this. Without flowers, the fairy won't come. Without the fairy, us sproutlings lose our purpose. No lives to preserve. It'd be the end of everything. Maybe... Maybe this is my fault. I could have overwatered the burrow or pruned something I wasn't supposed to. That worry is always on my mind. Jule. Here's a thought, Jule. We could all search for the reason the flowers aren't blooming. All right, so. Uh -huh. But don't you need to find that errand guy who stole from you? You said so yourself. No one has come through the burrow but us. We trust you to know what's going on in your home. Besides, I'm the soul guard. It's my duty to find the alm and protect them from harm. Look, I appreciate the thought, but there's no cure for the burrow. It's pointless. Are you sure about that? before you start kid come on folks we've got a job to do i think this place doesn't get enough sunlight that's what the landscape in verdius hasn't changed in millennia they no that won't be the issue long before now if it was the sun maybe gnome's powers are too weak to reach here it is true that elusia is a tad far from other terrain the solution may be that the sustenance given to the sprouts is being sucked dry. And there we go. That's a lot of leads to eliminate. Let's take a look around the area first. Now, she got it on the nose. The reason... <gasps> Wait, could it be... Yep, she's figured it out. Her brain's opened up. Where did Jule get off to? Well, while we wait for him, we can try to figure out the cause of all this. We know the cause of these guys. Some, something is straining the um, life force out of the um, ground. That's what's going on. Yes. All right. Uh, the whole area is covered in plants. No one can get through all this. Hmm. Maybe that's for the best. We don't want Orin sneaking past us. Unless he's the one that blocked it off. Maybe, but I won't count on it. Val, I surrender. I don't know anything about growing plants. Nice tools. is fascinating. Practically none of this flora was included in the almanacs of my adolescence. There's no getting around it. We have to ask the elemental of wood for help. Oh, shade. Yeah. If the elemental doesn't know what's wrong, no one will. Aww. I wanted to be the one to rub it in Julie's face when we found the answer. Sorry to disappoint you, Karina, but we haven't got the time to waste on fumbling around in the undergrowth. That's true. The dryad is the elemental of wood and well versed of these wilds. But who can say where we may find her? Would that I knew. At times like these, it's best to ask the locals. Ah, uh, yeah, the locals are asleep. Uh, great. Gotta bother Dule again. Just what I need. All right, um, gotta find her now. Him, sorry, not her guys, to him. Huh? It can't be. Oh goodness gracious! How do you guys get here? Hmm. Where them stalkers? Hello again, weary travelers. What a surprise! Yeah, right. You knew what here. Don't you know there's a big old stalk that reaches all the way up here? My sisters and I didn't want to waste this once in four years opportunity, so we climbed up. We figured now is the perfect chance to gather exotic ingredients like Verdius nectar for flavorings and potions. Besides, okay. This place has everything ancient forests, dangerous pilgrimages, mysterious Gaian explorers. What's not to like? Sounds like you three have a full itinerary. Wait a minute. Did you say Gaian Explorers? Where did you see one of those? Oh, there was a dashing young adventurer of that description over by the tree. 
We saw him ahead of us. Oh, okay. Lose track of him though. Had to focus on keeping me our footing and all. <sighs> Oren's on his way. Did you see a sproutling around here? Shorts, green, leafy? Mm, nope. But I sure would love to meet a sproutling in the flesh. Uh, bark? All right, that doesn't sound good. Uh, what was that? A terrifying cry, that's what! It came from the direction of Milo's woods. Someone might be in trouble. Orin, maybe? Or even Orin. Let's check it out. Oh, before you go, do me and need to stock up on anything? Now's your chance. Anything you want for a price. Grab the Everything for a price. Don't get stingy now. Bye, bye, bye. They're the spitting image of father in miniature. Yes, they are, and we don't need anything because we are uh, playing this on new game plus. So, one thing that that gave us for that mode is we have everything from the previous game. So I don't need to do any leveling or anything like that at all. You can see my levels are 90. I'm mean, severely overpowered here, considering the maximum level of this game, I believe, is 99. So. Boss is only level, what, 20 maybe? 23, something like that? I mean, it's gonna be a quick battle. Delay? What are you doing over there? What am I doing? What are you doing? We can handle this. Stand back. Yes, we can. We call this critter Grapple Vine. It was too strong for me to uproot it when it decided to nest near the burrow. Be careful. It's coming for us. Get ready, everyone. Alright, let's battle this dude. This dude's gonna die in what two hits or three hits or some shit. We need to weed out enemies like this one. Quick cause trouble you, you troublemaker! What level is it? 22, okay. I said about 23, so. Actually, this guy's actually taking a bit of a hit. I have to stop being smarter. Or maybe not. Alright, definitely overpowered. As I said, guys, we are going to be overpowered for a while, so... Damn it, we're almost at 91, so we're on our way there, guys. You... you saved me. Thanks. It was a close call. It was. was almost too late. Why did you wander off on your own? Oh, look in the mirror, buddy. Oh, now what? I mean... That you made me wonder if grapple line might be the cause of the problems in the burrow. Don't get me wrong, this could all still be by the goddess's will, but I wasn't quite as sure anymore. And you all seemed so convinced that something could be done, so I wanted to check, but then I got attacked. Huh, and here I thought you were mad at us again. Glad to see we've convinced you to change your stubborn ways. That's one way to put it. I think it's the only way to put it. Fall into your lap every time. Maybe. But you weren't able to figure out what keeps the flowers from blooming either, right? <laughs> yeah, we're definitely not experts in gardening. But when in doubt, it's best to ask for help. Jule, do you know where the elemental of wood is? <laughs> Dryad? Easy peasy. Let me give her a ring. Oh, Dryad! Trust me, it's not that far away. Oh, yes! Um, hello! Jeepers! Man. You got here fast! Were you nearby? Oh, forgive me. That is to say, I was looking for you, Julie. But then I saw you were tied up with Grapplevine and wasn't certain what to do. Oh, you gotta fight. Particular pleasure indeed, Dryad. All right, how long have we been playing for? Forty minutes. That's not bad. It's really not doing much, guys. I'm just listening to this. Yeah, without nutrients, it can't grow. That's with everything. The monster is gone now, so that means. 
flowers, my friends. Dryad, this is great. There'll be an alm after all. Mm-hmm. We can expect the blooms at any Oh, that sounds good. Gee whiz. There's still so much to do. I have to get ready to welcome the fairy. Meet you back in Verdius. He's pretty excited. He's got some spring in his step now. Could I ask you all, and use their soul guard, to join Dulé? Sure. Irregular as the situation may be, you will be one of the few pilgrimages to see the flowering firsthand. That should count for something, I think. I mean, these guys are usually pretty friendly. I mean, I mean, again, they are elementals and all that, so I guess they should be friendly. But still, they're a bit more friendly than I expect them to be. Julie's in a better mood. I guess he gets grouchy when he's worried. But lucky for us. For now, let's head to the appointment ceremony of the Alm of Wood. All right, there we go. Dryad, come on, shake a root. Again, my apologies for the delay. I was considering Verdius's future and consulting with the denizens of the woods and such. <sighs> now then, let me see. With this spring breeze, I bid the trees awaken, bloom forth. All right. Can't wait for this to be passed, guys. We can finally continue the game. Huh? Whoa. Oh, it looks like he sprouted. Oh. And here comes the fairy. I'm right on cue. Well, it looks like uh, it's always some sort of differences. There's a lot of um, differences with these things. My hibernating friends didn't bloom. I did. A humble custodian like me in the ohm. I thought only dormant sproutlings were fated to blossom. Oh, yes. Well, you see, I was planning to choose you from the very beginning. That's why I went searching for you. Would you, Julie? Be my emissary to the mana tree. Of course he will be. The duty of the Alm of Wood? He's a bit sassy, but... <laughs> you got it, Dryad. He's friendly. Oh, but... If I'm the Alm of Wood, who will stay to tend and water my sleeping Yeah, that gun's eye. I mean, obviously you need someone to water him. Or shrivel up and wither without proper hydration. I, I can't leave them alone like that, Dryad. That'd be worse than any disaster that could befall Verdius. I don't know about that. Julie? Oh, come to us. We have a message for ah, you. Ah, enough of... Okay, I gotta go somewhere else. Wait, that's... Julie? What's wrong? I can hear my friends. They want to tell me something. Come on, let's go talk to them. Alright, uh, I've got to follow her now. Him again? I keep saying her, but whatever retarded reason. But I guess Jule could hear the voices of his friends. Better stick with him and check this out. Yeah, once we're done there, guys, we'll be continuing to the mana tree. And then things are going to go downhill after that. I mean, next area won't be too hard, just considering we can do everything. With your joyful singing. We asked Dryad to choose you as the arm on our behalf. Ah. That monster in Bimos Woods has been draining us of our mana. We have nothing to spare on our bodies. Grapplevine is defeated, but it will take time before we can bloom again. Too much time to avoid the destruction of... I need you to do it, okay. But what will you do without a custodian? You'll dry up. Got it. <laughs> Don't worry about us. Things will work out. Believe in the future of the burrow. We need you to convey the wishes of the Sproutlings to the mana tree. But you've all waited so long for the chance to be an alm. I can't take that honor away. Then use this, and together we will see the future flourish. 
All right, what do we get? Oh yes, the spring. Dryad spring. That's what it was called. Sprig, not spring. Sprig. We forgot to return it before we went to sleep. Sorry. But now that our work here is done. I think it's time to go back to sleep. Yeah, you'd be pretty drained the way a man have been drained. We'll see each other again. You gotta remember guys, these particular creatures are magic base. You're lucky they can see you off on your journey. There was no one left in my hometown of Eterum to wish me luck when I left with Val. But maybe, just maybe, there's a chance of bringing some life back to the parish if I complete the alms duty. That's my hope, at least. Morley's right. <sighs> it would have been nice to leave the veil with everyone's blessing, but sometimes it doesn't work out. Well, I've got the fence. The town's a piece of crap. I wasn't fit to be an alm. But this journey has given me a lot to think about now that I'm here. And this from the person lecturing me about alms and duties just a moment ago. Yes, exactly. Yeah, sounds like the pilgrimage hasn't been easy so far. Thanks for putting up with me earlier. I look forward to our journey together. As short as it is. The mana tree is just over there, after all. I don't know what's the point of actually doing this. I mean, why, why would you do this? The mana tree is right over there. What's the point of this? that the path to the mana tree was protected i will clear the way please give me a moment ah, okay so she's gonna help us out great we got that um we already had that to be honest but the mana tree is so close now. finally we can continue i shouldn't get it. i mean it's like 40 minutes guys of talking mostly i've been one fight whatever i can do to prepare what like bird free fights something like that most of the time we've been talking it's game a bit tedious Alright, now it's open. We can continue to the military. I wish it was going to be this easy, guys, but it's not. We have come upon the far corner of Milo's woods. Once we get out of here, our goal should be in sight. Um, excuse me, Sir Solgard. Beyond these trees is what is known as the Sanctuary of Mana. Unfortunately, only the alms are permitted to enter. The Solgard cannot go past the entrance. Ouch! Yeah, I know. Either way, first I have my duty to Hina to fulfill. I will get her core stone back. The merchant sister saw Orin when they were going up the jack tree, right? You're not gonna wait for him here, are you? If only we had an idea of his plans, we could try and head him off. I don't know the fella, but if this Aaron went to the trouble of climbing up to Lucia, he probably wants something from the mana tree, right? Why don't we stick together at least until we reach the entrance? Who knows? Maybe he'll come to you. Maybe you're right. You're right. Let's forge ahead for now. Oh, do be safe on your travels. Well, at least there's no um sticks or anything in this game. Alright, let's go into here. Uh, go to the vessel, go to him. Bingo. That's weird. I don't never give him anything. It's weird, yeah, it's only never done anything for him. Let me have a look. I've done one for my I've done two for myself. I've done one for you, which I probably should be doing another one for you to be honest. Boy. Oh, okay. I've not done anything for you. Well, we're doing something for her now. All right. I feel a deep connection with the spirit. So I think the main things we should worry about, guys, when we're doing this stuff is look on here and work out what's this. So each, each of these have different effects on different characters, so... Anyway, it's insane, guys. Look at all my points. And my points are ridiculously high. Um, 
obviously it's only a 500 points difference i probably could do most of these so most of these are going up because of the um second quest but you don't need to unlock them all so i don't know if there's an achievement for it um there is i'm not doing it for a third time unless i do it um up camera of course and just add that part into it there is a barrier around the mana sanctuary only alms are able to cross it, I am afraid. What? Really? But what if we get surrounded by monsters and we don't have Val to take them on? Don't worry. No monsters can trespass in the sanctuary. Yeah, I think that. Sounds like Morley did his research. The goddess protects the sanctuary from monsters with that barrier. Milo's voice and the sanctuary of mana are all a part of the spirit realm. Or they were at least. The what now? Spirit realm? Well, it's a realm, but for spirits. It's where elementals and sproutlings came from. In the past, it used to be separate from the mortal realm, where humans live. The mana goddess used to be able to protect the spirit realm from monsters. But when all the realms merged, that changed. Merged, you say? Yup. Once monsters began to emerge in Milos, the goddess had to create the barrier to protect the sanctuary. That makes it sense. Really strong. Strong enough to protect the goddess and the mana tree. So don't worry. There's no way a silly monster could break through and get us. Uh oh. oh. Well. It's true. I mean, later on, guys, we get attacked by monsters sure. there. Um, alright, so we're getting closer to the next part of the story, guys. Every place we visit is unique. Under the cliffs was not nearly as unsullied as this climate. We are pretty close to the mana tree. Plus, barely anyone but the convoy of alms ever passes through here. Not people, but it looks like monsters sure do. Tread carefully. <laughs> are you fond of music, Jule? Sure am. I've composed 1,460 songs Of course you have. Songs to date. 1,460 songs? Or were you taking this? Resonate. Take it away. Got some syrup. All right, this is probably the hardest area because it's of course a bit of mucking around. But other than that, it's not that bad. Taking this. Not to be nosy, but have you noticed that mouse spaces out a lot? Oh. That's probably what he's thinking about here. Huh. Maybe he can come with a lot of strange hang-ups if you ask me. Alright, now they're starting to take a bit more damage. Alright, now that they're getting harder to beat, that should be a bit more fun. It's not going to help too much. I think once they get to about 30, yeah, and then they should start being a bit more in enjoyable. I want to go this way, guys, because this is where I can go. Jule, don't your feet hurt from walking on this terrain without shoes? Hurt? Why would they hurt? These feet were made for walking. What about you? Don't your feet get tired of being crammed in those stiff things all day? I never thought about it like that. All right. We've got you here. Turn around, it's gonna be a chest. Here. Ah, okay, we'll have to beat these guys. Alright, that's one way of doing it. Um, 2000? Yeah, it's not too bad. Um, let me. Alright, there we go. Alright, let's go back. Huh, I don't even know how to work. Ah! Alright, that's a weird spot to put one of them. Okay, that way obviously it's way too far away, so we're gonna do it this way. Alright. 
All right. I want to get back. I'm um, going this way. Yes. Oh, dead end. Okay, I thought it was away. Yes. Got some syrup. I think I might be a little lost. I wouldn't be the first time I got lost in this area. It does. I'm going that way, I'm going this way. Alright, give me a minute, I'll work it out. Oh, I think I'm going to go that way. Take it away. Yeah, I'm going to go that way, that's why we're having issues. Alright. That makes sense. No. Okay, that's a weird area, but okay. Why am I lost? Why am I so lost? I mean, I'm normally pretty good at getting my directions. I mean, I'm more tired than I expected to be. Yeah, I ran off the edge, guys. I'm being a bit sloppy there. Right, we've got to go back and work it out. Alright. Aha! That's what happened. I got. I forgot which way I had to go. Now we're today out. We can continue. Um. Thanks for the pick me up. Whoa, we're in the middle of a forest, but it looks like the mad sky. Oh, that's great. Not a lot of birds fly down on the surface. They might be pretty, but try not to fall into the poison marshes below. Noted. Then we shall stick to the tree trunks and make ample use of the spirit's power. Taking this, got some syrup. All right, where are we going? This way. Time to shine. Take it away. Yes, it did. Now I can go this way. Get what I want here, guys. Turn around and... This is kind of exciting. Getting back won't be easy either. Yeah. Alright, we'll have to turn it around again. All right, let's go. Grizzly. All right, um, where are we? I've still got a lot more to go. Okay. 
We should be able to work our way there pretty easily. I mean, it's not that hard to navigate. There it is. I'm brimming with power. All right, uh, I'll go this way. Got some syrup. Yes. Over there. Just collecting all the stuff, guys. Oh, I can't go up that way. I can go up this way, though, I think. Alright, there's one over there. we have just got to go around collecting the stuff. I need to fight the guys, guys. It's not strong enough for me to be... We're having my time on them. Okay, how do we get up there? Uh oh. Shouldn't stay on here too long. I just tapped the ground, guys. I only tapped it. I've got to go up there, huh? This area is not my favourite area. It's a lot of mucking around. Grab that. Help us out. Uh, the way out this way. Got some syrup. All right, that's still all I had to do here, guys. Check the chest. Nice. Grab that. It's got here. Come to think of it, there hasn't been an ohm of the moon for a while now. Yes, I'm the first in many years, thanks to Val and the others. I'm not that up to date on current affairs down below, but I'm sure that wasn't easy. Time to shine. I'm brimming with power. Not even interested. All right, done here. Almost done here. This area is a bit, a bit hit and miss, guys. It's not my favourite area. I mean, too much chopping around. Grizzly. Lucky for us, I think that's everything in this area. Uh, no, not everything. I think I missed one thing, which is probably up further. Oh yeah, I said yes. Every convoy before us has also marveled at this view. Don't mind there it is, the last one. I knew there was one more last chest somewhere. I'm coming. Alright. We're going there, guys. Also probably notice my camera's starting to get darker as it gets darker outside. The mana tree is gonna have to wait. First, we need to get Hina's core stone. The tree is all the way inside the sanctuary past the gateway, safely tucked away from trespassers and mission makers. 
Orin is likely to be loitering in this location. This is our last mission before we reach our journey's end. You said something about a sword being kept here, right? I sure did. Wanna see? It's stuck in a huge rock. You can't miss it. The true story of the game is going to begin any minute, guys. Taking this? Yes. Finally, we've arrived in the domain of the map. All right, there's the rock, guys, and there's the um sword. Unfortunately, someone else is there here already. One and only mana sword. Oh, and a visitor. Orin? Val, I'm sorry. This was the only way I could get my hands on the mana sword. That's why you're here? The sword? That's right. Do you even know the miracles I could perform with this power? I can save Liza, cure her of her cursed petrification, and... That's not even the half of it. She's still the Alm of Earth. Until I can release her, she'll never be free. That's why I need the sword. I have to change the world for the better. Get rid of the Alm's sacrifice altogether. So that our loved ones don't have to die to preserve the future for the rest of us. You're saying you sacrificed Hina's life in order to save Liza? We trusted you, Orin. Both of us no, not just her, it's the world. Us. As the Soul Guard, you're charged with ensuring the Alms meet their ends by completing the pilgrimage. You were prepared to lose Hina then? I just made her sacrifice come a little earlier than expected. For the sake of the world, you can hate me. I won't blame you. But with my plan, we'll never have to sacrifice another person ever again. Good. The Alms will no longer have a reason to exist. We'll be freed from this horrible tradition of loss and regret. <sighs> Sorry, but I think Orin might be right about this. Hina and other alms before her were denied the life they wanted to live. His words are tempting. Wow, you can't. Even so. Even so. The alms have never been just the means to an end. Not to me. Their sacrifice has to mean more than that. This world exists because the alms carry with them the hopes and dreams of all those who came before and those who will come after them. I know in my heart that this world is sick. But Hina was never meant to be used as a pawn by anyone. Of course she wasn't. None of us want her life to be lost in vain. There has to be a way to obtain the Mana Sword without Hina's core stone. Regardless, this should not be your call. It is pitifully presumptuous of you to assume you know the wishes of all alms, past and present. My Sproutling friends entrusted me with this duty, and I mean to see it through. You don't speak for me, mister. Thanks, everyone. All right, here comes the fun back. As I have friends on this journey who need me. I'll continue to serve them as the soul guard. Even if we end our pilgrimage at the mana tree, I'm in charge of my own destiny. Hina is my responsibility. You have to return her core stone now, Orin. You can't stop this. Without a core stone, I can't pry the mana sword from this rock. I have to bring back the world of Fadio for Liza. No. For all of us who don't want to lose the people we hold dear. In the past, there were no alms to sacrifice. Mortals, spirits, Benevidon monsters, even the goddess herself, all lived in the different realms that made up Fadiel. But years ago, the five realms were condensed into one. Which caused a lot of problems. That mangled world was called Kidiel. It's the world that you and I know today. With the power of the Mana Sword, we can return Kidiel to the Fadiel it once was. Split it into a world that doesn't need to have soul offerings. The Mana Sword is right in front of us. 
They say that only the chosen one can wield it. If that's the case, then that's just what I'll be. Even if it means betraying my friends, my village, I will have the sword. That's what you think. What do you think he's doing? He's going to be using it so he can get the sword out. Unfortunately, it's not going to work the way he wants it. No, Hina! <laughs> now the true villain's out. Um, no, we won't let you do that. Give me that sword. I earned it. Don't even try. Return Hina's core stone now. You are not even worth the stretch of my sword arm. It can't be. Zilophos? After all this time? My, my. Correct, Sprout. Your reward is the ruination that awaits you all. One travel. All right, let's go and get him. This is hard for me, guys. I can't get to him because he's moving. Yeah, we won. That was easy. He's far too powerful. There's no way we can win this. All our advances will be futile if our adventure ends here. I'm all for retreating personally. All right, I think we're dead. I think we're gone. Uh, maybe not. Right. Right. You're helping us. This land will not be desecrated by the powers of evil on my watch. Never thought I'd see the overseer of the sanctuary intervene like this. Now is the time to withdraw arms. No. I. I can't just run away. I have to save Hina. I have to get her core stone! Listen, this isn't a fight we can win right now. We have to pull back. Dude, you can't win. He'll destroy you. Sometimes I, I think I enjoy him suffering a little bit. Is it making me cold that I enjoy the suffering? Alright, so back down. Curse it all. Now Hina's core stone is. How did a man like that get trapped outside the sanctuary? For weal or woe, he knows not our whereabouts. Trent's probably keeping him plenty busy. First things first, who is Trent? For that matter, who is De La Huzin? Golly, you don't know anything, do you? I'm not a historian, but I'll summarize what I can. 
Ah, of course, you're playing music. Trent is one of the goddess's emissaries. He watches over the entrance to the sanctuary to keep the people who aren't supposed to be in there out. I guess you could call him a neutral overseer. His job is to protect the goddess, but he's not exactly one to stick his leads into the business of the alms who come his way. We're lucky we got him in a good mood, or we'd be goners. As for the gentleman who was sealed away in the rock, his name is Delapos. Long ago he tried, and failed to overthrow the mana goddess herself. Yes. <gasps> Inconceivable. Unfortunately, it looks like that long nap didn't change his mind about revenge either. Overthrow the goddess? But why would he do that? Don't ask me. We weren't friends or anything. When Delphos was defeated the first time, his powers splintered, scattering all across the mortal realm. Lost to time and, and memory. Anyway. You're saying that the form we just fought wasn't even close to his true strength. That's about the gist of it. If you ask me, Thalophos is going to need to find the rest of his fragmented power before he does anything else. This complicates our current mission considerably. Yes, it does. Given your age, I am fascinated by the breadth of your familiarity with history, Jule. I love to learn myself, but I have not heard half the stories you have related to us. My age? Oh, right. I keep forgetting how little you know about spirit folk. Sprout wings have a very, very long lifespan. That guy from before, Orin, was it? He mentioned something about Ki and Fadiel, right? When I first sprouted, the world was called Fadiel. I know what I say sometimes sounds like ancient folklore, but it really was the world I grew up in. You mean to tell me you're actually an old man? Huh, the fact that I'm older than I look is your takeaway from all that? I'm only 17. Should I be, I don't know, more respectful? Uh, sir? <laughs> nah, there's no need to get stuffy on me now, sonny. More importantly, we gotta do something about Delafos. And soon, the places where his divided power is being kept are the exact same ones where the Benevidons are locked away. Okay. Benevidons? Yeah, uh, it happened on. Yep. Delophos will have to release the seals to take back his power, which, lucky us, means the monsters can break loose. There must be some mistake. I have read the old texts, and the Benevidons were felled by the legendary sword of the ancient hero Delophos. The goddess bequeathed her blade to her champion to aid him in his adventure. It is an epic tale passed down through the generations in prose and performance alike. Golly, they made plays? Mortals sure do like to talk about things they don't understand. Then, do you think the story's gotten warped over the years? Well, it is true that Delophos was sent to destroy the Benevidons. So wait, what's the problem? If both Palomina and Jule's accounts are to be believed, then Delophos must be planning to revive his once defeated foes, using those great monsters to visit his wrath upon the Mana Goddess. If he's as stubborn as I remember, that's exactly what Delophos wants. Resurrecting the Benevidons will throw the whole world out of whack. Even completing our pilgrimage wouldn't be enough to balance things out. Getting Hena's core stone from Orin is one thing. How are we supposed to take it from an ancient hero? Right now, we're the only ones who know that Delophos is back. There's no one else we can turn to. So you do intend to go after him? Of course. I don't care if he's some legendary champion. He still took Hena's core stone, and I won't let him get away with it. Of course you'll say that. I'll go with you. It's way too late to turn back now, anyway. All right. Plus, I don't think my friends back in the borough would want me to abandon the rest of the alms to go to the mana tree on my own. It was never my intention to stay behind. The more of us stand against the enemy, the easier the fight will be. You'll need backup. As a former dignitary, 
I cannot condone an individual such as Delafos destroying any domain, no matter how diminutive. Delafos got the drop on us last time. Without the element of surprise, we can take him. And he and his core stone, for that matter. Now that that's settled, what's next? Let's not go back to the sanctuary yet. I think that tree guy might be mad at us for the mess we left behind. Dilophos said something about Earth after he woke up, right? Do you think he meant Guju? Well, yeah. The Benevodont are sealed away near where each arm is chosen for the pilgrimage, of course. But Liza and Watts are still in the area. We have to get back to Guju. And that's where we're going. I'm worried for Liza's safety. Get out of here. Too, for that matter. Actually, wrong way. This way. First things first. I don't think there's anything we can do here. Yes, there is. There's one I'm side sure quest. I'm not letting Delafos make off with Hina's course. Uh, side quest. Where are you? What side quest? That's over there. Okay. If we get too many side quests, guys. I will start doing them, but I'll be doing these as a um. Not stream only, guys. I'm gonna be putting this on my let's plays because they take too long, and I like to keep them straightforward. Uh, which way do we want to go? I don't even know which way it is. Try this way. Worst case scenario, guys. I go the wrong direction. I'm just gonna go around the world. How the Delafos we dealt with could possibly be the hero of legend. How did it come to this? And why? Gee whiz, enough with the questions. Why don't you ask him? It's not like I'm his keeper. Ah. Uh, so many questions. It's what do I want to ask? I mean... Let's ask Buska for a ride to Guju. Time for a handy dandy... Oh boy. Um... Very cool. Yeah, it might be a good idea I say back here, guys. As I said before, guys, there's a good chance the game will crap on itself. Or crash or something like that. So I better save it before I go. That's interesting. I didn't get no experience for it either. I tweeted out some boss battles I don't get experience. It's like the second one I didn't get experience for. Probably because I didn't beat him technically, but. Her to shoulder all the strife. All right, we're here. Let's get sword out, guys. We'll start this area up, and then we'll probably finish the recording, and then start for tomorrow. Oh, I'm exhausted, guys. It'll be like an hour and a half, and I'm dead tired. Guess I haven't got over it yet, guys. I thought it might have been over yours, but I don't think so. I think it's just, um, yeah, okay, where are we? We're going this way, I don't want to go that way, I want to go this way, oh boy. Whose ideas have put that there? I mean, it's got to go around a long way. Oh yeah, guys, we can go back to our home area as well anytime we want. We don't need to, but... Possibility. Uh, let's get and shoot there, guys. We only got a few things to do, and then we can go back before we get to flying. Once we get flying, guys, that will make life so much easier. One reason I don't want to do any of the side quests. So once we get flying, I can just do all them, and the side quests will be easy to do. Not to mention, I don't really need to do them. They're not going to give me anything I don't have. I've got everything from the previous game, so... doesn't matter to me. Oh boy, this... Alright, we don't want to do them, but we want to at least activate them. There he is, um... Huh? 
All right, that's that one. Let's go back this way. I believe there's two over here somewhere. Yep. Activate that one and fast travel back, and then we go against you. Level 19, they're not worth my battling, guys. I'm severely overpowered. I'm like 71 levels higher than they are. Alright, so there's one up there. Nice that I don't have to do every little thing. I mean, most of the collectibles are already done. Alright, let's do that one. There's another one over here somewhere. Alright, let's get out of here. Alright, so we've got, we've got a boss battle coming up any minute, guys, so we'll probably end the recording after that. Look at that! Figured y'all had reached the mana tree by now. What happened to that seed you were going to use to climb the cliffs? Oh, we fixed that problem ages ago. You should see the size of the stalk. <laughs> Good to hear it. But you picked a heck of a time to be visiting Guju, let me tell you. A big feller with a sword to match showed up with Orin in tow. Things don't look good. Orin's alive? What now? But he doesn't stand a chance against Delafos. He's trying his best by my account. They're up there now by Laz's resting place. If she gets hit by a stray attack, well... Let's just say you better get up there as quick as you can. I don't want any harm to come to either of them. Alright, you heard him, guys. We're heading there now. But I doubt he's stronger than De La Man, there's Liza's statue to worry about as well. Hey, guys, it'd be nice to get the mic to sit here where I am now, because it's just more relaxing sitting like this and uh, sitting up all the time. But yeah. Hope we make it though. I hope we make it in time. Yep, there they are. Oh, looks like he's getting his ass kicked. Guys, he's losing. Give me the mana sword. You really want it, don't you? I have to save Liza. You are not worthy to be its master. And he got rid of both of them. Oh no, Liza! The rabble has returned, I see. The powers sealed within this land have returned to me. I have no more need of this place. Gareth, avatar of earth and power. Heed my summons. Destroy all that stands in your way and live again. I don't like the sound of that. He's gone. No, I agree. Too selfish, Liza. I'm sorry. I only wanted to save you from all of this, but I failed. 
I wanted the power of the mana sword so I could change this world. Val, I'm not asking for your forgiveness. I think I'll forgive you anyway. Remember the future we dreamed of. A world without sacrifices. Orin? Yep, he basically saw the essence. Usually he can't do it without beating him up, and it's usually monsters only. For whatever reason, he converted them to core stones. Both of them, core stones. Why do I always? No, a good thing in this instance. All right, let's get out of here, guys. What time is it? It's only eight p.m. Not even that late. Than I thought to go so far for the sake of others. Sproutlings are connected to our fellows in our environment, but I've never seen that kind of devotion in our tribe. Orin may have been mistaken in the means of his undertaking, but his vision for a world without alms was not without merit. Say what you want, but I'm never gonna forgive him for what he did to Hina. I guess that things are never as cut and dried as you want them to be. And this coming from me, mind you. <laughs> if we'd only been able to learn more about Orin's plan before all this. Well, no use crying over a spilt watering can. Now that we're here, it's basically up to us to figure out whether Orin had the right of it or not. Do you think he was telling the truth about the Mana Sword having the power to change the world? I think everything has to change the world. I've never held a sword in my life, let alone the legendary one. Orin's gone, but I have so many questions. There has to be more to this than we know. Yes, there is. What he did was wrong, but I can't fault him for wanting to save someone. I agree. For now. Let's go break the news to Watts about Liza and Orin. Yeah, well, we've also got uh, something else here to deal with, so we're going to have to deal with that before we finish this recording, because we've still got another one at least. And um, like I said, guys, if I don't finish the recording 100%, I'll just leave it on there and I'll just do, I'll just add it on to the next one. I mean, it makes the pile size ridiculously big, because I don't know why, but it makes it go all the way, makes it really big. But other than that, it is what it is. Not to mention, I generally upload at night anyway, so I'm usually done by tomorrow morning. So I can just do the edit, uh, the description and all that shit, and then that's it. Taking this. Alright, let's talk to Walt, and then we're going to head out to a bit of a on... Oh yeah, he did. But he's not alive. <laughs> looks on your faces. I'm guessing. Sorry. We were too late to save him. Or Liza. Not your fault or responsibility. You tried your best, and I'm grateful for that. All as I want to know is where that sword-wielded scum came from in the first place. His name's Delafos, an ancient hero of legend. <laughs> and that will be a problem now. There's trouble to brewin. The Benevadon's loose. We better hightail it out of here pronto. B -b Benevadon? It can't be. Not one of them legendary beasts. Yep. Gareth the Benevadon of Earth was sealed in these parts for thousands of years. Now that he's free, we're in for a bumpy ride. We can't let Watts' home be destroyed. This village was special to Liza. And Orin too. 
We have to fight, everyone. Are you with me? I mean, sure, if you think we're up to fighting an all-powerful primordial monster. <laughs> you know? There's nobody else who can. I like that one. It just works, though. We have to try. Do you know where we can find Gareth? I spotted the Benevadon deep in the Zawak Desert near an abandoned boat from bygone days. It's called the Dialuck. A boat in the sand. Well, it'll give us a foothold in the shifting terrain, at least. All right, so this one's the first one, guys. It's probably the hardest one, too, because it's not a normal fight. It should be easy, even regardless. Oh, well, he's asking, so what can't we can't say no? Perfect. I mean, his voice—he sounds like he's really legitimate. Yeah, maybe, maybe. We're gonna fight. Get our swords out. Get our weapons out. Get our weapon, whatever weapons you got, and fight him. Um, even normal playthrough—it wasn't that hard. It's Remember, guys, we're just gonna go all the way over. The, oh, it's the fast way there. It's a fast travel right there. Let's use the meridian to so we can get there, guys, and just fight this dude out. And there it is. That's the boat. My guess is that's the boat we're looking for, the Dialog. And that's where we'll find the Benevolent. Well, it has to be the boat. It's the only one here. We made it to the Dialog. There is nothing that seems as sinister as a Benevolent here. Maybe not yet. Take a look. How can Ramco give us a lift? Ramco's still a baby. She can't carry us all. Well, can she? Uh, oh. Well, uh, can hey? I don't even know what gender it is. Uh, I don't think I ever tell you. Uh, I had guys, so um, yeah, we're on the boat now. This is it, guys? The fun part. This is one of the bosses that's quite the hardest, I reckon, because he doesn't. You don't fight him like a normal boss. There's nothing here. It's the reason. Well, sand. How do you know? I mean, okay, that's a free defeat. Okay, that's a. Yep, okay, we're in trouble. Let's beat this boy or girl. Alright, let's go. Watch ya. Do you see? Guys aren't that strong, so... Oh, no one? Why don't I get over there? Oh, there's a man in the way. Not really that hard to avoid. Gotcha. We've already done well. Um Alright, that's it, you pissed me off, bye. Oh boy. Alright, you really think they'll make it hard on this? And guys, there we go. Remco, can you get out the way? Run. Remco's in the way, guys. Oh, damn it. Should wait till it's closer. Oh, 
Oh, it's getting hurt, but yeah, it's taking a bit longer than I like. Bingo. Yeah. Ow! All right, that's it. You die. Like I said, not a very hard boss. Just um, yeah, it's probably the hardest boss because you can't just go up to him and beat him up. Oh boy. A few more hits and he's done. Just be patient, guys. I probably could use my CS power. I think I should give it a shot. Okay, I can't do it. Huh. That's interesting. Um, are you going to come out for what? Oh, here we go. Oh, wait, that's fine. I hate when he does that. Freaking, he moves his flip arrow in the way. Alright, hopefully we can beat him. It's really taking forever. Why don't lock this one? Okay, easy pat now. In the mail. Alright. That was a bit harder. At least I got my level up, guys. Right? Eight levels before we max out. But now that was not the easiest one, but done. We won, but defeating them won't make them disappear. The Benevidons are part of nature. Aspects of the elements. Hmm, what's this? Huh? Oh my. Do you suppose this light could be the Lumina Lantern? One of the elemental vessels? How I say so. Here of all places. 
the legends say, the hero sailed the world defeating Benevidons in each empire. This craft and its contents are most likely a relic from that era. The goddess bequeathed the vessels unto her champion in order to aid him on his mission to seal the monsters. That makes it sound like the hero and goddess were on good terms back then, considering her gifts. Something must have happened that turned him against the mana goddess. Delophos used the dialect to seal away the Benevidon's original. His losses are gain. If he learns to throw away his elemental vessels, then I say we call dibs on him. Finders keepers, losers weepers. Man, they were really mean. All right, that was done. Now what do we do? Even if we wanted to get Hina's core stone back, we don't know where Delafos went. If he's going around waking up sleeping Benevidons, maybe we can head him off, ambush him? The Benevidons seem to be sealed near the homelands of the Alms. There are seven monsters left, so... If you will permit a proposal, I know of someone stationed in the Lagrazzo Dark Archives who may be able to assist us. He is the most intelligent of all the students and scholars on the island. His name is Aish, head curator of Lagrazzo. The Dark Archives sound promising. We might even be in time to meet up with the newly appointed Home of Darkness. Streaming is great one being found. Lagrazzo is as good a place to start as any. The Dark Archives are on the southern end of the Trinia continent on Brazzo Island. Sounds like we gotta give Buskov another call. The northern coast should be a good place to pick out a tune on the fairy flute. Alright, so that's done, guys. Um, that is I going to be it for that recorded part of the game. Have they finally been appointed? Usually, they would have made it to the capital by this point.